um, derma planning. So these are like cloth like paper towels. This is the toner that I use. I love these two. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through one of my favorite beauty. Do y'all see that? Whoa. I think I took a little of my eyebrow. Girl on TikTok using this and gonna use her until she can't pump no more but i probably have seen this all over these are the two that i have been rotating i did my research on all what's up y'all welcome back to another video so today i am doing a skincare routine i got some new products and i'm gonna be trying something different so what i'm gonna be doing today is i'm gonna be doing derma planning for the first time i'm so excited about this so i've been doing my research and i was learning about derma planning so it's not just to get excess hair off your face i mean that is exactly what it is but it sheds that dead skin um it helps with your skincare products actually absorb into your skin and then that's that's what got me. So when I learned that, I was like, okay, let me try this because maybe my skincare products are not absorbing like they should be because the way my skin has been acting up, like, look y'all, I've been having breakouts. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna get it together. This is gonna be my last try before I go to a professional to get my skincare under control. So I got some new products that I'm gonna share with y'all. I got this from TJ Maxx. I paid $6.99 for it. Um, I just been watching a lot of YouTube videos and some TikTok videos and the girls saying that this works for them. It helps with smooth application with your makeup. It helps with getting that dead layer of skin off so that your skin looks, you know, more vibrant and bright and all the things. I got the elevator aloe vera gel to look at this from target it's the up and up brand from target it's my first time doing this so while i was in tj maxx i picked up these i don't know but i'm gonna try them out i've never tried the eye patches before so we're gonna give these a try all right so let's get into the skincare products I'm gonna start off by washing my hands and then I'm gonna wash my face. And let me show you what my face wash is. Since it's night, first thing that I got new is my face wash for the nighttime. So I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, a lot of dark spots, and I have very oily skin, very oily skin. So I got a new soap to use in nighttime only. I only use it at nighttime, and I've been seeing a lot of girls say things about it. And then I've been seeing a lot of people saying, don't use it, it's too strong. And try it for yourself. I tried it for myself. I haven't had any breakouts, I haven't had any burns, so I'm gonna use it. I know y'all probably seen this. If you are an esthetician or dermatologist and you don't like this, Please ignore this because I am not a professional, but I'm just trying things out. So I'm gonna be trying this. I've been actually using this for a minute now. I put it in this little container right here. So um, this has been my face soap for maybe like two weeks now. I think it's working. I don't know. I'm gonna give it longer because you need to at least give your products at least two months, two to three months to see any type of results. So I'm gonna take this little piece of soap. I cut it into little um, sections and I just like rub it in my hands and then I just go right in on my face to my problem areas, which this is the biggest problem area I have. Like my chin is like my worst area, of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, but not as much. But now I've seen a lot of girls saying to leave, um, to leave it on there for like a couple minutes. Um, I wash my face twice. Uh, I wash my face twice, so I don't do that. So I'm just gonna lather it up and then rinse it right off and then do it again and this has like a citrusy orange smell to it um i would say this is strong it's very it's like a strong soap so you need to test it out first before you actually start using it so i tested it out on my neck before i actually start putting it on my face and I only use it at night because a lot of the people that I was watching saying 
it makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. So I only use it at night because I already have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I don't need more sensitivity to the sun. I don't need to create more dark spots. So after I wash my face, I do go in with these. These are like cloth, like paper towels. Um, these are the ones that come from um, the Viva brand. Cheaper than the ones that you get off Amazon and they are a thick cloth paper towel. So you can get these out of any store, um, grocery store, Walmart, Target, they have them. So now that that is done, the next step that I will be doing, I'm not gonna do it tonight, but my next step after I wash my face will be to tone. This is the toner that I use, I love this. I put it right in my hands and I just pat it into my skin. But because we're gonna be doing the derma planning today, I'm not gonna tone because I think that'll be, I don't know, I just got a feeling it's gonna sting my face or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna be using these two. My face is like completely dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this aloe vera gel on my face. And then I am going to start the process of derma planning. Now, oh, my lips are dry. So um, now I've never done this before. I watched several videos. I'm actually gonna share um, a video from a black dermatologist on YouTube that I watched. So when I saw her doing it, I was like, okay, now I really know it's safe to do. Okay, so basically what you do is you get this. This is the Bliss brand um, and it comes with a little protector on it right here that you can just take off and it has a blade. Y'all can see it has a little blade on it. Just like a, like a razor that you wish uh, arch your eyebrows if you ever did your eyebrows on your own. Like this, and you just put this over your skin. Oh, this is kind of thick. I didn't expect it to be this consistency. This is thick. Um, oh, I guess I'll put this all over. Do I put it? I don't know what I'm doing. Put it all over, put it all over the forehead. This kind of tingles. Is this supposed to tingle? It's no scent. I got the one that's fragrance free because I was just scared of those fragrances. I think this is enough. Hope I'm doing this right. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Alexis, a board certified dermatologist. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through one of my favorite beauty secrets, which is derma planning. I love derma planning for its instant gratification. My skin is noticeably brighter and smoother right after. My final step is to restore hydration immediately. Oh, I need a cotton round. I got a cotton round to take off this, whatever it comes off here. So pull your skin back like this. Hmm. Now mind you, this is hair and dead skin. Y'all see that? Whoa. Look at this. Okay, now be very careful around your eyebrow areas because you don't want to take your eyebrows off.
All right, y'all, so this is how my skin is looking. It feels really smooth. Um, this is what my cotton pad looks like after I finish. It's not very hairy, but it's still hairier than I thought it was gonna be. But, um, and then you just throw this away. So I'm just gonna throw this away. So after, after you remove everything off your face, you're gonna go in with your, um, she said to go in with a serum and then moisturize and then that's it. So I'm gonna show y'all the serum that I use and the moisturizer that I am going to be using. This is the serum that I'm gonna be using. I love this serum. I actually saw a girl on TikTok using this and I just like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I got this off of Amazon, so I will definitely be linking everything below for you guys. All I do is I put some in the little dropper and I drop it right on here just like this. One on my forehead, one on my chin. Cause my chin is the worst. And then basically I just rub that through, so. All right, so after I put my serum on, the last step is to moisturize. So this is the moisturizer that I have been using for a while now, Tropics Moisturizer. Um, I like this because it's for dark spots. This is a new one that I've been using. I'm not gonna put this on tonight just because I did derma plan my face and this has a scent to it. It's kind of scented, but it's a travel size Olay. And I really like this, so this is what I use at night now, but I'm gonna use this tonight. And as y'all can see, she is gone. So that's why I've been trying new products because this one is like gone. So, um, I'm also gonna put a little bit of bio oil. It's just to help the dark spots clear up a little faster. So what I do is I just get a few drops on my hand like this, and I just tap it in, and then I go back and rub it rub it all the way through um and I only rub it on the spots that I do have um like I have a spot right here so I rub that through right there I'm not going to use my eye patches tonight just because my face is like really raw and I don't want to have any type of reaction so I'm going to use those another night so um I'll be doing another follow-up video just to show y'all how I use the eye patches all right, so don't forget to moisturize your lips. This is what I'm gonna be using tonight. That is it, and I will see y'all in the morning for my morning routine, which is a uh, different products. So, see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Okay, so it is time for my morning skincare routine. I'm gonna go ahead and start washing my face. This is my absolute favorite face wash, um, and this is a good one for the daytime but as y'all can see she is very low she costs a pretty penny so we're gonna use her until she can't pump no more but it's about time for me to go ahead and restock I know a lot of people talk about double cleansing when they use like two different face washes I don't do it but I do wash my face twice The next thing I do is I go in with a serum. I don't exfoliate in the daytime because again, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, so I don't wanna cause any more dark scarring or dark marks in my skin. So this is my new skincare um, item. And I know y'all probably have seen this all over. It's a Korean um, skincare, the um, snail mucin. I'll put the link in the description for this because I did get it off Amazon. Um, so I just do one pump like that. Do you see how sticky it is? And I put that right there. One pump right there. And this glides on real smooth. I do have two sunscreens that I am currently using. 
This I have been using forever. This is my favorite sunscreen, the Super Goop. I use the Everyday Lotion and the 30 SPF, but I have been doing my research on skincare and I was like, okay, I need something a little stronger for when I actually leave the house. So I put this on when I'm in the house. In the daytime when I'm leaving the house, I use this. This is a travel size and I was just, you know, I just purchased it to see if it would, you know, do okay with my skin. And so far it's been doing good. And this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer 60 SPL. Cause we need 60 over here. Neutrogena is a good brand. So this, this is not cheap. This you get more for your money. This is a little on the cheaper side. So these are the two that I have been rotating. And so I'm gonna put this one on today. And I just do one little line like that, two little lines like that. I don't need a whole lot. And then I rub that in. This glass is so good. Now I am gonna show y'all some other products that I do rotate in every now and then. I didn't use them this time, but these are products that I have been using that, um, or something new that I'm trying. Um, chemical peel, it's five treatments in this little box. I use it probably once a month. I probably could use it a little more, but my skin is a little sensitive, so I don't use it that much. But this is a good peel if you're trying to like get rid of all of that makeup and stuff that's been built up on your skin. Another thing that I have been rotating is this. I just learned about this. I just learned about the Panoxyl. So this is a travel size. And as you can see, I have used it because I wanted to see if it didn't have any type of reaction to my skin and it didn't. So I'm gonna start using this maybe once a week or maybe twice a week, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna go and buy a big one and I'm gonna start using this. Like what I've been doing is I've been trying the little travel sizes just so I'm not wasting money. Try it out, see if it works, if you don't have a reaction. Now you do need to use these products over a span of time to actually see if they work, but see if your skin doesn't react to the new products. I will buy a travel size because you could buy something and your skin breaks out and you're like, why I wasted my money? Why did I spend 10, 15 dollars on this product when it's going to basically break me out? I've been had this, I just haven't used it. This is a sleeping mask for like the nighttime. Now, I've never tried a sleeping mask, so maybe I'll do an updated skincare routine with you guys and show you guys how to use this sleeping mask, but I didn't want to use it last night because my face had been, um, because I had plan. but it's good to have this if you're trying to put moisture back into your skin. Y'all, I did my research. I did my research on all of these products, and I'm just trying to figure out what's gonna work for me because me and my skin, we gotta do something. Girl, you gotta get it together because you got me out here looking crazy. That is all that I have to share with y'all today. If I do add anything new, I will be sure to do a video and share it with you guys. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one.